this is our corn, and I'm not real sure what is going on with it. Uh, they just look like little corn, <laughs> tiny corn. They're only about, I don't know, two, two feet tall. So I don't know what's going on. If anybody could help, let us know what we did so we can do differently next year. Yeah, a second. Let's put blue. This red here. Okay, I'll do the red. And then mix it. Okay. That's funny. You and have the cup. And then the second okay. time I'll pour. Good. That's your hat's in there. Woo! Oh, it's so cold. Good. Oh. You can pour more. Yeah, to make it work. Oh. There's still red at the bottom. We are going out on a girls' day out, and well, mainly girls' day out. I've got Deckily Do back here. That's not his real name. Not his real name. But anyways, um, we're gonna go get some boba tea. A hummingbird. And then some paint. And what else do we need? Some groceries. I mean, that's really fun for girls stay out but anyways so that's where we are where we are headed
today I'm coming at you from my pantry. <laughs> I know, kind of weird, but it's the big pantry makeover reveal. Um, a couple of weeks ago, my daughter came to me and she said, Mom, can I please organize our pantry? And like any good mom, of course, I said yes. Yes, yes, an emphatic yes. <laughs> uh, it's been a long time and I have definitely needed some organization in here because things can get chaotic in an unorganized pantry and I never know any where anything is. And it's been long way, way overdue. I mean, we've been here three years and so yeah, it was high time that I get my act together in here. So we headed over to Dollar Tree and I got a bunch of bins to put everything in and um, yeah, it was amazing what just a little bit of organizing can do and everything has been smooth selling since like if I need peanut butter, I know where it is. So um, yeah, this has been really great. It's, it's completely made things so much easier during the day, making dinner. Oh, I cannot tell you to tell you enough um, what a difference it makes to have an organized pantry. So I hope you guys enjoy this little inspiration. It's not necessarily a how to because I mean, it's just organizing, but maybe it'll give you some good ideas for your own pantry, for your own home. Um, and I'm also going to include about five years ago, I did another pantry makeover in our old house. Um, like I said, we've only been here three years. Um, but that house had a little bit different of a pantry. So I wanted to include it. So here's some pictures before of the old house and after, as you can see, we just had shelves. It was not a walk-in pantry like I have now, but the shelving had about as much space as we have now. If, if not more, it, there could have been more space in that one. I, I couldn't tell you. Um, there may have been more space in that old one, um, but I loved the reveal on that one. The only thing that I would change and did change <laughs> from the old makeover to this makeover was that we had um, solid bins that you could not see through. And so this time around, I got the ones with nice little holes in it. So but you can see what's in there without having to put any kind of labels. So I'm personally not against labels. I think they look amazing, but for my own needs, I don't like labels, but these would actually be really great if you do like labels and you need something with labels. These would be really easy to put just, you know, what's inside each box. So keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, I think it's pretty amazing that you can get everything that you need. I think we spent around $25, um, $25 to $30 on everything that I ended up buying. I ended up going back um, and I did not get any footage of the uh, fruit bowls. So I want to show you guys these. They're actually just little mesh containers. These are uh, wire mesh. And I wanted to show you guys these because I think this is a great uh, way to have fruit in the pantry. Um, because it's, it's not a solid bowl. A lot of times if you have fruit in a solid bowl, the fruit on the bottom is going to get mushy because there's no airflow in there. But with the mesh, there's plenty of airflow. And so far it's worked out really well. So... I highly suggest finding those little mesh containers. I think they were in the bathroom section. But I'm going to take you guys through the Dollar Tree on our little shopping trip. So stay tuned for that. And I hope you guys like this little organizational reveal. Here's the before shot of the pantry. And right now we're not going to necessarily mess with the spices too much. But we've got to get control of everything else. And so yeah, this is the before shot. Pretty bad. <laughs> mm -hmm.
enjoyed that little makeover and stay tuned because I'm gonna have some fall decorating ideas really soon. I'm gonna go throughout my house and dig out all our fall stuff and figure out where I want everything this year. So stay tuned for that. And I have a couple of reviews that I will be doing soon and maybe some more grocery hauls. Let me know be below what you would like to see here. Uh, grocery hauls, organization, decorations. What's your favorite thing? And also what kind of organizational things do you have in mind? Um, is there something I missed at the Dollar Tree? Let me know. And I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you next week. Bye. Ha, ha, ha.